today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue Daniel and the Lion's Den. Daniel. Yes, let's read the Bible story. God's people disobey him. <coughs> so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and create away many of the Jewish to their own country Babylon. So God people disobeyed God like that means they didn't believe God they did that thing like that so their enemy Babylon God let Babylon to take over the captivity Daniel was the one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to Him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So, Daniel was very kind and he disobeyed God very well. So, <coughs> so also he prayed three times a day. And he became a powerful leader in that country. No one was powerful than Daniel. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. And Darius agreed. So some leader was so jealous at Daniel so he was thinking that Daniel's fault but they couldn't find what Daniel had done what Daniel has done bad thing and they knew that Daniel was praying to God in three day one in day, day three times that he's praying to God so he said to king like whoever don't obey you then and pray you then throw into that person in the dying death question god bless daniel and made him a powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked. But 
couldn't change the rule. Daniel was thrown into thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel knew the rule, but still he had pro- he was praying to God. So like he had to to go to the lion's den. And the king was so sad because he knew that he was tricked by them. And he couldn't change the, the rule. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then the angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. So Daniel was in the lion's dead. An angel appeared. So, angel shut the lion's mouth. So, he had to wait over there. Was Daniel arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God? Yes. At daybreak, Doris went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said the king was drilled. Daniel was powerful out of the den. So King Doris was saying if there, there, he is alright. There's a diamond. Fa, you found a Bible gem, altar of God's gift to God. The king Doris had Daniel and Mitt throw into the den. The lions gobbled them up. The king Doris told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. Question, when Daniel was thrown into the God, then God's angel protect him from what kind of animal? Number one, donkey. Number two, eagle. Number three, lion. Number three is the answer. Yes, and today we'll do the fruit of the spirit. Gentleness and self-control. Yes, today Eric the level three. Did you enjoy? And next time I will 
come with another story. Yes, to the air at the Bible story, please bring back them back.